Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to create these cornrow braids with an updo. I beginning with parting my hair. First, I create the rectangle on top of my head. Then I will create the first curvy shape, like this. And then the another, in this way. Then I will be beginning the braiding. I use some water to my hair so braiding will be easier. Then I take three strands of hair and start to braid like a dad's braid. Bring strands from side under to the middle and in this braid I add hair from the right side. From the left side I don't add hair so the braid will follow close to the part line. Right under, add hair. Left under, 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 right under, add hair keep on repeating this pattern until you braided the whole section inside the braid After the last addings, I keep on braiding few stitches more so the braid will reach easily inside the updo. Next, I will braid the second part. Again, I take three small strands and start to braid like a Dutch braid. Also, this time I add hair only from the another side so the braid will be curvy and it will follow the part line so left under add hair right under 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 left under add hair keep on repeating this pattern until you braided the whole section in Next, I will create the small part line close to the second braid, like this. Then I spray some water and braid. This time, I create a real dot braid, so I will add hair from the both sides of the braid. This section is so small that there's not really big difference no matter which technique you use when you just bring the strands from side under to the middle and as this section is pretty small I create this braid with the technique that I add hair only below the braid so Sometimes I need the braid without addings 
and then continue adding again and that's just why because I want the braid look equal and if you add hair from a long way the braid won't be tight and close the scalp so using this way helps you get the small braids close to your scalp and they will keep tight Then I will create the second braid just like before. So three strands, start the bring strands from side under to the middle and add hair from the both sides. Next, I will create the last braid of this look and I braid the hair that leaves between these braids I created before. Again, you need three strands. Then I braid again the lace braid. So, same Dutch braid technique, but I add hair only from the left side. So, right under left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under add hair keep on repeating this pattern until you braided the whole section in Next, I just put all hair to the ponytail and then I will create the updo. I just flip my hair to the front and spread the hair. After that, I tie the a loop with a bubble. Then I take the small amount of hair at a time and flip the end inside the bubble this way I cover the bubble but also get more layers for the bun so just keep on doing this until all hair is inside And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Have a great day.